Getting any shoes, yeah. You know, so shoe, shoe, we took a shoe break, yeah, because we do work nine to fives and we do got bills to pay. And you know, you know, all those memes where people would like, you know, ain't got bills, bills to pay for rent, but got money to buy Yeezys. Now we're not those type of people. Uh, if we don't have money to buy shoes, we're not buying shoes. But luckily this month we had excess of funds and we decided to buy some shoes. I think just you have some more on the way, right? Yeah. Uh, funny thing about this shoe was that. Uh, Jay here tried to get the shoe, and it sold out of him. So uh -huh. his 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 uh, order got originally got canceled. But ironically, like I was on Cali Roots, checked out everything, and I got an email literally ten minutes later says, "So we couldn't process your order because you oversold." I'm like, "Fuck!" Yeah. <laughs> and then luckily, like uh, the next day. Did, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I completely overslept, didn't even realize that it was, it was at, at 10 o'clock, completely sold out everywhere. But, you know, it was, it was Saturday, we were just, you know, dicking around, eating like like early after like 1, one, one 2 o'clock. Saturday, I think we were having breakfast. Yeah, yeah well, it was like, weekend, guys. like 1 or 2 o'clock. Oh, man, yeah, yeah. You, you know, weekend, you gotta sleep in. You know, you know, you know I ain't got no time for freaking waking up early. Mm -hmm. But, I don't, I just, just was on Twitter, scrolling through Twitter, and you know what? I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna hit the button real quick. Hit the button real quick on sneakers and stuff, and guess what? Yeah, and like, had, had a couple, had nine, Seven, nine had, eight. Yeah, eight and a half to, eight and a half to 10 and 11 and a half. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try and check out and see what happened. Checked out, got through that. Oh fuck, it actually went through, so. And then I got in, and then it said that, 11 and a half sold out, so you know what, maybe I can try to swap. So I bought a nine, I bought it, and then, then Jesse goes, wait, there's 11 and a half left. So I bought the 11 and a half as well, then told him to cancel my nine, which sneakers and stuff was very kindly, they, they canceled it for you. And uh, yeah, so I also got 11 and a half of the same shoe. I think we have different boxes. Oh no, it's the same box. I don't even need my handy dandy knife today, because they have a little pull tab. Damn, it's nice. So, it's and we even got a nice little letter too. I didn't get no damn letter. Thank, it says, thank you for shopping at sneakers and stuff. First time ever buying anything with sneakers and stuff. Damn, they didn't give me no letter. I'm not special. Oh, they gave me inside the box at the letter. I'm not, I'm kind of special. This shit is stupid hyped up, but it's, this is this shoe is a collab with um, White Mountaineering, which, which is, is a Japanese brand, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I wanted the first ones, but they sold out in a freaking minute in a, in a heartbeat sense. Damn, these are nice. Fuck. Uh, mm. Damn, these are really nice. Holy shit. Damn. So what, what I liked about these shoes the most, honestly, is uh, those three white stripes on the front. I think, honestly, that's what sets this shoe off. You know, I don't know if you guys seen the most recent R2s. The NMD R2s, if you guys didn't know this, the NMD R2 PK. Um, it's like, it's just, there's a different pattern on it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, the pattern on the, the normal R2s is kind of, I don't know what the pattern is. It's like a, what, what would you call it? It's like a disconnected, it's not polka dotted, but it's like with the R2s. Stripes. R2? Yeah, that's like weird. They look like oh, The only, only difference is this part. There's no, usually on the. No, uh, no, no, I'm talking about the difference between the R1 and the R2. Like the R2 has like these, the pattern on the knit is like. Oh, are oh, you talking about the, uh, about the, uh, the white Mountaineers? No, 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 I'm talking about the normal prime. The reason why this R2 is the only one I would get so far is because the pattern is just a flat black and has three stripes versus the other ones, they have this weird. Pattern on them, they look like divots. I'm not explaining. They look like little bumps inside the shoe. It just looks kind of ugly. Uh, I, all, all I know is that with, with these R twos, like the main main thing is that the boost is different. Like usually there's a, there's, a, there's like a little box right here, the box right there. But if you can see clear, it just has divots in the thing and it's all sideways. I mean the regular R two, they're straight. These are solid, like straight. 
I mean, like, like, like curved to the side. Oh, this is a cool touch. I don't think this is on the normal. And the oh, his little back padding. This is white mountaineering on the, on that little tab, the pull tab, the tab. Um, uh, a little more white mountaineering logoing on the tongue as well, as well on the three stripes. These are all really nice. It's just, it's just a nice. It's a different shoe than the normal NMDs that have been coming out recently. And to be honest, the most recent NMDs haven't been very. Uh, the R2s. The R2s just, I don't know, like, the pattern is just not the same. Like the reason why I, the old NMDs were so nice because the pattern was so clean. It was just nice solid color, neutral tones. You could just wear with that anything. Is, that is really cool. Look, the back is really cool. It's like, like this. There's also logoing inside the shoe. There's a little flap right there. Really cool. There's logoing inside the shoe as well. And shoulder white mountaineering. I think the, big, the biggest difference I noticed from the from the R, from the original white mountaineer to the second mountaineering. They're both R twos. Yeah, I know, both R twos. Is that like this back piece? This back piece is white. Yeah, and this heel tab is black as well. These are. I feel like these are easy to get. Um, Cause the first one sold out like within eight. I don't know. I saw I saw the original ones that on that that um. Wait, I can't say that because uh. Uh, what you call it? I, I, some guy in, in my in my previous video said not to uh, not to sh uh, say where um, about the store. He said I don't want people to know people know about it. So there's a specific store in respect to one of my subs. He said don't shout them out because he doesn't want to like everybody know about the store because they because they be getting some secret heat, man. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, so like that store, they had the original one just sitting like uh, a couple weeks ago, and then I asked, hey, I saw the oh shit, I told Jay, and I was like, do you want more? They had the navy ones and the black ones, and I told Jay, and I was like, hey man, and, he's, and I was like, he's like, yeah, get them for me if they got size. Ask size, they only have like a ten and a ten and a half left. The so highest size fifty fifty shoes, bottom of the size one, but whatever, it's okay. But no, these are nice. Um, like I said, this is the best pattern that's come out on any NMD R2 in my opinion. Until they stop getting rid of the weird, I don't know what it is. I don't know, just Google NMD R2s or if you guys have not already seen the pattern, it's not like the R1s where it's nice and flat and clean. But this is more like, if you, to be honest, this is, you can tell this is like a Japanese or European inspired shoe. Uh, the shoes were shipped from Sweden anyway. It's yeah. Shoe. But like this, the, the style is more catered to that, the, that, uh, those continents, to be honest, just because I don't know, you don't see this type of detailing, things like this, unless you're like American, American people in the Philippines are a little more simple. While this, while you know, European and Asian people kind of go off the walls and stuff like that. Like if you look at Y3 shoes, those shoes are nuts. They just look crazy. That's just a sweet. Oh snap! I just brain farted. What? Dang! You know something? You would do that again? Yeah, they, they, they like, they point downward. It's Notice really what the white mountaineering that sign on here is though. Oh, what? Yeah, on the tongue. What is it? The logoing, it's just those put together. Just, just do it again. Oh, shit! What is it, Mom? What is it? Like this. So they go down to a point notice, and then if you look inside the heel box, oh my god, heel top. It goes down to a point as well, so it kind of like mirrors. Oh, that's oh. nice. That's some subtle branding for white mountain. That is, that is, that's, that's unique. We sound like idiots right now, but that is nice. That's unique. So that's dope as hell. Yeah, but I appreciate the little things. These are both 11 and a halves. I'm gonna try these on. Hopefully, I can squeeze. Put them try, try them right now. That way we can tell them if they, if they fit, if like they fit big or small. Okay. Okay. First time. First time trying this. Okay. There's no cushioning. It's just a straight little shoe horn. Shoe tree. Shoe tree. Uh, yeah. The, the little paper shoe tree thing. Please fit big. Oh wow. No. We can. I can fit these. Really? This is loose as hell. Oh my god. No. Oh, yeah. This is a little snug around the. Uh, Around the uh, arch, yeah, around the arch, a little more arch support, but yeah, no, you can fit these. Okay. I can. I, I got wide ass feet, like I said before. I got pancake feet, like I hop on my feet, and so when you step in shoes, it looks like it just goes like this, and that's why I don't wear flying racers. But I probably shouldn't wear these either. But I don't care. They look good as hell, so I'm keeping. Yeah. 
She's so fit nice. Cause I, cause I know that like a lot of times the like like fly knits on like on NMDs, they uh they kind of oh, prime knit fly knit. That's not that's that's, that's, that's <laughs> Nike. Prime. It's all the same shit. God damn it. It's knit. It's a knit. God damn it. It's all the same. The, uh, the, uh, the, um, the prime knit. Any prime. Those are the any prime knit shoes from uh in like in, from like, NMDs and stuff like that. They always fit a little bit big. I remember you said like cause mom uh, probably has the French beige um. French beige, uh, they fit all humongous. Ones. Yeah, the 12s, they fit like really big, and that's why, like, I remember, I was, like, on Supplies Restyle, like, you see my old videos, I had to get 11 and a half because it had me 12s, because it, it fits like, perfectly fine. So, if you, so if anything, like, if Prime, if prime Net Adidas goes size down, you know what's crazy? So, on, uh, I was actually like, surfing the web the other day because I was trying to find the fitting on these. Turns out, Remember how we always complain about like the original OG NMD mesh all white? Yeah. It's tight. It's just those shoes they said. It's just those and the all black ones. They didn't say they run super tight. Oh. Okay. All the other NMDs run true to size. And then these primary ones really run really loose. Mm, okay. Which is kind of cool. Okay. Well, uh, like I said, uh, we don't want to hold you guys for too long. I hope that all of you guys who wanted a pair of these got a pair. Uh, whether it's the original ones or these two. The second one with the white back tab. Uh, I think these will fly as hell. Yeah. Your this, opinions? Yeah, and like honestly, like I have not uh, tried to cop any uh, R2s because I simply do not like any of the new R2 colorways. I'm saying like I patterns. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like any of the new R2s, but like this one most definitely like this white Mountaineers. These are definitely a must cop for white and for it. So if you got a pair, more power, more power to you. And if you want a pair. I suggest go get one. No lie, right now it's what's in trend, or what's top in trend is a hype dog target. Going off tangent, right? Hype dog trend right now is uh, track pants, like the track pants, Adidas track pants, any type of track pants, and honestly, these would complement that a lot. I don't know, this style is kind of really cool. Yeah. So, so cop a pair if you can, don't buy rate prices, be a haggler, and wear your sneakers. <laughs> I'm always sad. <laughs> never pay. Never pay. How do we weigh down as much as possible? You can you can ask. Just don't steal. You should just ask, right? Yeah, you can always ask. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.